The Particle Zoo. Cosmic rays travel through space. And when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they interact with the atmosphere and produce many new particles, antiparticles and photons. Most of the cosmic rays were found to be fast-moving protons or small nuclei. And when they collide with the gas atoms in the atmosphere, they create showers of particles and antiparticles. Using cloud chambers, which we've seen already, and other kinds of detectors, many of the new types of short-lived particles and antiparticles were discovered. So let's have a look at some of these new particles that were detected. These go in order uh, of increasing rest mass. If we have the electron up here um, with the small rest mass and then moving to increasing rest mass all the way up to a proton, these other particles are in between those rest masses. The muon is thought of as a heavy electron. It also, just like the electron, is a negatively charged particle and it has a rest mass of, of over 200 times the mass of uh, an electron. Next one up, we have the pion or pi meson. This has a larger mass than the muon but smaller than a proton. And a pion can be positively charged, negatively charged or neutral. And then we have the kaon, which is bigger again. And this also can be positive, negative or neutral. It has a greater mass than the pion and still less mass than the proton. The muon decays through the weak nuclear force. The pion is produced by the strong uh, force and the charged pion decays by the weak force, but the neutral pion decays by the electromagnetic force. And sometimes you'll see pions drawn like this. So positive, negative and neutral. Kaon, produced by the strong force, and it also decays by the weak force. Again, these are the kinds of symbols you will see for the kaon, or k meson, positive, negative, and neutral. A little bit more about kaons. Just like the pi mesons, the pions, they are produced with a strong interaction. When protons moving at high speed crash into nuclei, and the kaons each travel far beyond the nucleus from which they originate before they decay via the weak interaction. Their decay products include pi mesons, and these and other properties led them to being called strange particles, and more about strangeness later on. All of these particles I've talked about so far can be created using accelerators where protons collide head-on with other protons at high speed, so it's not just uh, from cosmic rays. So what happens to these particles once they're created? Well, they decay, and they decay into other particles. And K mesons, being the bigger out of uh, these new particles we've been discussing, they decay into pions or pi mesons, they decay into muons and antineutrinos, or they decay into anti-muons and neutrinos. The charged pions or pi mesons decay into muons and antineutrinos, or antimuons and neutrinos, and the neutral pion decays into high energy photons. 
muons and antimuons decay into electrons and antineutrinos. Or um, positrons and neutrinos. All of these decays uh, always obey conservation rules for energy, momentum and charge. And there are more conservation laws to follow.